Yeah, I think I can do it all. I think one of those things where, you know, I really can make a play with my feet, make a play, throw in the pocket, um, and you really just, you don't want a game plan, you know, for me, you want a game plan with me. So that's the biggest thing. The NFL Draft Combine is officially underway, and yesterday we had the interview period where a lot of these quarterbacks and wide receivers were interviewed for the first time, and one man who made a major leap in the draft stock was Drake May, right? Everyone, NFL executives, to media members, to fans, all came away with one thing with Drake May's interviews, his alpha energy. Not a lot of quarterbacks have that dog mentality, but Drake May, at least in his interview process, seems like he could be maybe even the best quarterback in the draft. Listen to what Tim Hasselback had to say about comparing Caleb Williams and Drake May. Your, your belief is that Caleb Williams is not the best prospect in the draft, correct? Correct, and that's not to say that he's not a really talented quarterback and, you know, there's a good chance he goes somewhere and, and has a really great career, because he may. Um, I believe the best prospect in this class is Drake May. Well, is Drake May the best quarterback in the draft class? I don't really know. I'd probably go with Caleb Williams, and I'm still a little bit more confident with Jaden Daniels at the moment, but Pro D is going to mean everything. Obviously, some of these guys aren't going to throw at the Combine. They're waiting for Pro Day, especially a guy like Jaden Daniels who wants to throw to his wide receivers at LSU to bump up their draft stock. Now, with that being said, do me a favor real quickly before we get in depth in this video, and I'm going to show you guys what Drake May said said about certain NFL teams, you know, he might have just dropped a hint at where he wants to play. But with that being said, comment down below, is Drake May the best quarterback in the draft? If not, comment down below your top three list. Mine is going to be Jaden Daniels at one, Caleb Williams, Drake May at three as of right now. But that is subject to change. Let me know your opinion. But let's get into the video. There's plenty having you go to Washington at two, to New England at three. Where do you want to be? Yeah, I'm ready to go wherever. I think, you know, it's, it's easy to kind of, you know, get you into something where you say where you want to go. But I'm uh, ready to go compete wherever and ready to go. You know, great fan bases all across the NFL. So I think all these fan bases are, um, you know, something that I'm, I'm looking forward and catering to. Now, Drake May met with a variety of different teams, including the Patriots, the Raiders, the Commanders, the Giants, and some other teams as well, like Minnesota, and even the Broncos as well. But with that being said, the first team we need to talk about is the Raiders, a team looking to trade up, trying to get a quarterback, trying to kickstart this rebuild uh, with Antonio Pierce. It's not really a rebuild by any means necessary, but they do need a franchise quarterback. Is Drake May the guy? Comment down below yes or no, but let's hear what Drake May had to say about possibly going to the Raiders. Yeah, it went well. I think, you know, I first, you know, congratulate Coach Pierce on what a great, what, you know, what a great job did this past year and, you know, so, so much respect for him for, you know, earning the earning the right of the guys and kind of the, the nod from, from the program is a pretty cool experience. Yeah, it went well in there. Just you know, getting to meet some of those guys and uh, watch them film with me, some good plays, some bad plays, so we got it all. When it comes to Antonio Pierce and the Raiders, I don't think you'll find a prospect, a free agent out there that wouldn't want to play with or under Antonio Pierce and the coaching staff he has here. They have the dog mentality and Drake May could just be the perfect fit. However, the Raiders weren't the only team that Drake May talked about. He also talked about the New England Patriots with new head coach Gerard Mayo. Now, before we go out and show you guys what Drake May said about the New England Patriots, do me a quick favor, guys. Hit the like button really quickly, but also subscribe to the channel if you're new. It is free and doesn't cost anything. I'm going to be covering the entirety of the offseason for you guys to keep you updated with everything going on in the deadest period of the NFL season. But without any further ado, let's hear what Drake May had to say about the New England Patriots. Yeah, yeah, I was really impressed with them. You know, Coach Mayo, you know, first congratulated him too. Um, you know, come anytime a new head coach, you know, is a, a pretty cool experience. So just being in there and um, New England's, you know, obviously a great sports town and meet with them. So I thought it went well. I think, um, you know, New England's a great spot and all these teams are, yeah, I got a great spot. Now, New England is one of those great situations right now where, yeah, they are one of the worst football teams in the NFL right now, but they have a ton of cap space, a good defense, but also a lot of guys to re sign. But this is a team who has number three pick, doesn't need to make a move up, and can quite frankly sit back and take 
the you know the one quarterback that makes it to him at three if that's what they want to do obviously it seems like Caleb Williams is going to go one the commanders have their choice between Drake May Jaden Daniels or some of these other guys JJ McCarthy don't think that'll happen but the Patriots are sitting at three with a big big you know question mark who will be their quarterback next season now Patriots fans comment down below do you want it to be Drake May do you want it to be Jaden Daniels let me know in the comment section really quickly but I also do think Drake May could fit them really well but one hurdle the Patriots will have to go through to get a guy like Drake May is having him fall to them at three. But the Commanders, with new head coach Dan Quinn, new offensive coordinator and Cliff Kingsbury, could be the team that goes after Drake May. And it was said the other day by an NFL analyst well known around the NFL media that Drake May isn't just a quarterback one on Adam Peters' board. But he's also the number one quarterback on Cliff Kingsbury's board as well. Now, I don't know how legit this source is, where this came from, but a lot of people seem to think it is very, very true. Now, would they pass up on a guy like Jaden Daniels? Would they, you know, not trade up to get a guy like Caleb Williams because they want Drake May this badly? Maybe. I think Cliff Kingsbury is one of the smartest offensive coordinators in the NFL right now in terms of getting a pass game going, but will that translate for Drake May at the NFL level? But real quickly, what did Drake May say about the Washington Commanders as well? Coach Quinn, um, it was great. You know, he kind of, kind of clicked right off the bat. Um, he was a great, you know, great guy and um, you know, great coach. The stuff he's done defensively with the Cowboys over the past year has been pretty special. Um, so meeting in there and, um, you know, Coach, um, you know, Coach Richard, Coach uh, recruited me in high school from Stanford, so got to know him a little bit. And uh, you know, Coach Kingsbury knows, you know, my office winner from college, so we got a lot of connections. Three, what did you take away from your meeting? Now, before we get into the last couple of things, last couple of teams that Drake May talked about, do me a favor, comment down below the number one if you think Drake May is a good fit in New, uh, New England, comment down below the number two if you think the Raiders are a good fit for Drake May. Comment down below the number three if you think the Commanders should be where Drake May gets drafted to at number two. But also, comment down below the number four if you think none of those teams are going to end up getting Drake May. And he's actually going to be going somewhere else. But with that being said... Let's talk about the Denver Broncos. Now, the Denver Broncos are in a weird situation. Yeah, it was awesome meeting with Coach Payton. I think anytime you got you know one of you know the great offensive minds in there, you know meeting with him was was pretty cool. And Davis Webb, um, he seemed right off the bat, you know, seemed like a you know he kind of you know one of the great quarterback coaches you could play for. And uh, just fun to be in there with those guys and um, you know got a great experience and got you know Javante Williams is a Carolina guy out there in Denver. So now, as of right now, all signs are pointing to Russell Wilson being a free agent this summer and finding a new team over the next couple of months here, leaving the Broncos pretty empty at quarterback position and they're a team who you know has a chance to come up and draft a quarterback but they might need to trade up if they want a guy like Drake May now Broncos fans comment down below what do you think it would take to go up the draft board and take a guy like Drake May I do think he could fit a lot of needs for them but also Drake May spoke very highly about Sean Payton and watching him grow up let's see a little bit more about what he had to say about Sean Payton that you uh, met with the Broncos, right? And obviously they picked 12, and sometimes when quarterbacks come to the combine, they won't even meet with teams that are not within the top 10. So first of all, tell me why you elected to do that and what they were trying to figure out. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it was great in there with Denver. You know, I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, if they want to meet with me, just be open to meet with forever. I think, you know, the crazy thing about the NFL nowadays is all these coaches go different places. You may run into them some somewhere down the road. So uh, just being open to meeting with whoever. You know, Davis Webb was in there, the quarterback coach. Uh, you know, he was a great guy in college to play for, you know, to, to watch on, on TV growing up. So uh, just being in there, you know, Coach Payton is a legend, you mm -hmm. know, with, with the offensive mind. So just being in there and just being open and just letting know what, uh, what I'm about and who I am and just meeting these guys is kind of, you know, my approach to it. Now, the one thing I really do like about Drake May is his accuracy at times. There aren't too many quarterbacks that have the accuracy and can throw the ball as well as this man right here. Drake May has what it takes. What we see here is a cover four defense. You've got four deep DBs here, but what he does is very interesting. He brings the safety down by looking at this receiver here, which forces a one-on-one -on -one to the outside, and watch how he plays this. Boom. You see this stuff by NFL quarterbacks, and I know we don't have all 22 film right now, but this is what what we're seeing he throws it deep down the field but you get this safety just to bite down slightly here on that out route throw this deep ball now you have a one-on-one -on -one, and look at this ball placement here this is unreal 
unreal throw, right? Right into the bread basket of number nine there for a walk-in touchdown. And these are the things that Drake May can offer your football team. Now, another positive slash even a negative at times for Drake May is he is, you know, pretty decent at ex extending plays and making some flashy throws here. As we see on this play, he's gonna it's going to be a read option to the top of the screen. Boom, it's going to be a play fake. Now, at this point, he's running left with the football in his left hand, getting basically tackled, sacked here. Another guy pressing up top, leaving this man wide open, but he goes ahead and throws it with his left hand, gets a wide open touchdown. Now, the problem with a play like this is when he tries to extend plays, it doesn't go well 100% of the time. It doesn't go like that. It leads to a lot of turnovers. His accuracy can waver at times when he's on the run. So that's maybe something that scares me a little bit about Drake May. But when you talk about a guy who, you know, isn't afraid to throw over the middle of the field, has a great arm, you know, has the highest pro football focus passing grade between the hashes outside of any college football quarterback last season, this man can really throw the football, right? There is some mistakes here and there, but at the end of the day, Drake May is becoming, a, you know, a top 10 pick here. In his interview process, the man proved he can be the alpha dog. But which team will get him? Comment down below real quickly, guys. Who do you think will land Drake May this draft? But also, where do you think his best fit is as well? And with that being said, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. It should be very, very soon. Keep an eye out.